these uh, computer and online essentials uh, pretests. Uh, so the first uh, question, which one of the following best describes a laptop? A computer designed to be portable and flexible with integrated uh, peripherals, a small handheld device, uh, a device that combines computing, internet and mobile phone functionality, uh, a computer designed to stay in a single location connected to power, uh, actually uh, a laptop is portable. Uh, so you click on that and answer. Our next question, which one of the following can convert printed text uh, to a digital image? It is a scanner, uh, which is an input device, so click answer. Our next uh, question, which one of the following is an interface for transferring and compressed digital audio and uh, video data? It's the HDMI, uh, click answer. Next question. Where should you click to log in uh, to your computer as a different user? You have to click on the profile icon down here. So you click, yes, that's where you click, uh, then uh, click answer. Next uh, question. Which one of the following indicates that uh, it is safe to remove the USB device? It is option D. It is option D. It is option D. So you click on icon D, then uh, answer. Next question, where should you click to connect uh, Bluetooth speakers to your computer? These Bluetooth speakers are under the connected devices, so you have to click on connected devices, then click answer to continue. Uh, what is uh, true about operating systems and applications? Applications are always installed first on a computer, then the operating system. The operating system is always installed first on a computer, then the application. The operating system can only interact with hardware or uh, with software. So the correct answer actually is B. OS is installed first. Which one of the following is not an example of an operating system? Uh, Android, Linux, Windows, actually Firefox is a browser. Next. Which one of the following is the main purpose of the taskbar? The taskbar uh, launches and monitors application. Uh, manages network, shut down the computer and install. Uh, the answer is launching and monitoring applications. Click answer. Our next uh, question, which one of the following icons represents a folder? It's actually uh, C, because the first one shows the control panel. B is an application Excel. Uh, C is a folder. D is the recycle bin. So you click icon C, then uh, click answer. Next uh, question, click the drive icon in the image below. So you have to scroll downwards to see, uh, so the drives we have local disk C, that's the drive, click answer. Next uh, question, where should you click to display the files and folders as large icons? You have to click on uh, the view tab at the top. So once you click, you'll see that. Uh, search for all files in the folder documents uh, that are of the type rich text format RTF. Click and drag one answer option onto the search bar. So what you need to do, the answer options, you look at the extension. If it's RTF, you pick the, the one that has RTF and then drag it to the position, then click answer. Where should you click to create a folder uh, in the selected folder? So, because they've already right-clicked for you, you're supposed to click on New, and then click Answer. Our next question, where in the right-click menu uh, should you click to change the name? You just, for you to change the name of a file, you're supposed to select Rename. So, you scroll downwards, click Rename, then click Answer. Our next question, which key should be used in combination with the mouse to select all the files? For you to select all the files, uh, you have on the shift key and then click on the last icon. Uh, where should you click to copy the selected folder? Actually, copy is here in the home tab. So you click on copy and then click answer to continue. Our next question. Where should you click to delete the selected uh, folder? We have delete here, so we just click on delete and then um, 
click answer uh, to continue. Next question, where should you sort the files and folders by their size? So you just have to click on the view tab, you'll see the sort options. Uh, which one of the following types of storage typically has the largest? We have USB flash drive, cloud storage, internal hard drive, memory card. It's actually the cloud storage because it houses a lot of data online. Uh, which one of the following files is the largest? Uh, KB, megabyte, terabyte, gigabyte, terabyte is obviously large. Next, where should you click to display the size of the selected file? You have to go to uh, properties, properties of the file. So you can see its organization. So you just click on properties. You'll be able to see the size. Click on some. Next question, where should you click to uninstall an application? You're supposed to navigate, go to system apps. That is where you have to click. Click on some. Uh, in Windows Task Manager, and responding applications can be shut down. Which one of the following keyboard shortcuts is used to show the screen below? For these to happen, you have to control, uh, alt, and delete. Our next question, click the key which captures the full screen and copies it to the clipboard. It is the print screen key. This one, click answer. Next question, which one of the following enables secure sharing and access of data devices and applications? It is a network. Click answer. Uh, which one of the following is used to transfer a file from the internet uh, to a computer? It is downloading, downloading. Click answer to continue. Uh, which one of the following uses internet technology? Editing an image on a computer, making an online video call, uh, creating a text document on a laptop, storing files in the hard drive. It's actually making an online video call. Which one of the following is not an option for connecting to the internet? Uh, cable, mobile phone, satellite, random access memory. The answer is random access uh, memory. Click answer to continue. Which one of the following characterizes an open network? This is a network that is not secured with a password. So you click on answer D, click answer. Uh, which one of the following describes a piece uh, of text or graphic uh, that can connect users to another web page? This is the hyperlink, hyperlink, click answer. Uh, what is the purpose of a search engine? Uh, it, it is actually to find information on the World Wide Web. Uh, all the other answers are wrong. So click on this, click answer. You want to make a search using uh, the keywords modern art. Click where you should uh, enter the keywords. It's actually on the search bar here. Click answer to continue. Uh, which one of the following searches uh, should be used to find the exact phrase below? Liverpool uh, Arts Museum, second option. Next question. Where should you click to create a new uh, bookmark folder? You have to click under bookmarks. That is where you click. Click answer. Next question. Where should you click to download the Flipboard app to the hard drive? Just have to click on the application itself and it's going to be downloaded click answer next question which menu item should you click to view how uh, a printout of the web page would look like you just have to click on print you'll be able to print preview your work click answer uh, next question what is the copyright special consumption tax no a program, uh, no. A right for the consumer, no. It is a term that covers the rights of the creator of music, books, and uh, software, etc. to ensure that it is not copied by others. So the correct answer is option B. Click it, then click answer to submit. Uh, where should you click? Uh, to change the startup page to www uh, yes so you uh, just have to go to that point click answer 
Next question, where should you click to allow pop-up windows? You just have to uh, scroll downwards. And after scrolling downwards under the site settings section, that is where you click. Yes, click answer, continue. Next question, where should you click to block all cookies from all websites? It's still the same same point under site settings, so you click, and then click answer. Uh, next uh, question, where should you click to remove all temporary internet files? It's simply clearing the cache memory of the computer, of the browser actually, so you just have to scroll downwards until where we have clear browsing data, click answer. Uh, next question, which one of the following is an inexpensive way uh, for two or more people to exchange information? Simply by using the email, uh, click on answer. Uh, next uh, question, which uh, one of the following best describes online messaging? Online messaging uh, is communicating in real time over the internet using text. Uh, that is the correct answer. Click on it, then uh, select answer. Next, uh, which one of the following is an example of a social networking site? Uh, out of all these, uh, it's LinkedIn. Click on answer, continue. Uh, which one of the following is a good practice when using uh, email? Uh, leave the subject blank, spell check the content, use capital letters in the message, write long and complex uh, messages. You're supposed to spell check the document, that is the content. Click answer. Uh, where should you click to create a new email message? Simply click on compose and then uh, click on answer to continue. Uh, next question, uh, enter the following email addresses. So you're going to add them, you just click on uh, the first one, drag it to this point as specified, the carbon copy email, pick it, drag it here, and the blind carbon copy uh, sent to steve.jones at gmail.com, you drag it to the DCC section, and then you click answer, to continue. Where should you click to attach a file? It's simply at the bottom where we have the paper clip icon. So you click on the paper clip icon and then click uh, answer to continue. Our next question, where should you click to send the email message? We have the send button at the bottom of the email. It's blue in color. So you click on it, then click answer to submit. Next question, where should you click to open the confirmation message in the inbox? Just click on the message and it will open. Uh, where should you click to respond to the open email? You scroll downwards, then go to reply, reply, click answer. Our uh, next question, uh, where should you click to send the open email to another person? It's simply you want to forward it. So you just scroll downwards, then you go to forward, then click on um, answer. Our next question, where should you click uh, to save the attached file? You have to click on the attachment itself. It's going to download in your computer, then click answer. Uh, which one of the following is an automated reply option in email? It is actually uh, specifying a start and end date for the automated reply. So all other answers are wrong. Uh, the correct answer is the last uh, option. So you click on it and click uh, answer. What does the yellow star in the holiday email uh, message indicate? So you scroll downwards, look at the options that are given. So the message is important, the message has an attached file, the message is forwarded, the message has not been read. The correct answer is that this message is important. Click on answer, continue. I want to add a new contact. So for you to add the contact, you've been given the names and also the email address. So it's just drag and drop the name there, the first name, uh, drag the surname, uh, Jones, place it there, then you drag the email, but you need to scroll downwards, uh, drag the email to the email section that is here, and you're done. Click uh, answer uh, to continue.
where should you enter the keywords if you want to look for a message uh, with a specific subject such mail? Click answer. Our next question. Where should you click to view all messages from Max uh, Jones? You have to click on uh, this uh, specific icon here and it will give you an option to filter and click answer. Our next question. Where should you click to create an email uh, label? Scroll downwards and then click on more. At this point, you'll see labels. Click answer. Our next question. Where should you click to restore the selected email from the bin to the inbox? Move to this one. Yes, answer. Next question. Now, where should you click to move? The same, same point. If you want to move emails, you click on this icon. Click answer. Our next uh, question. Where should you click to create a new meeting in the calendar? Simply click on the calendar icon, uh, then click answer. Next question, uh, where should you click uh, to invite colleagues to attend this meeting? So you're supposed to add the guest to your event. So click on add guests, then click answer. Uh, next question, where should you click to accept the meeting invitation? You have to click on yes in the message. Yes, click on this, then answer. Uh, next question, which one of the following is most likely to threaten data security? Uh, what uh, can threaten is giving employees unlimited network access. They may access resources not allowed. And once you're done, you click answer. Next question. Which one of the following is the best practice in order to protect data in the event of a flood or a fire? What you need to do is to regularly uh, back up your data to a remote or an off-site location. Off-site means it's not within the same same place as the original files. So click on the last option, which is the answer, then click answer to continue. Which one of the following activities is most likely to protect your personal and organizational data when online? Uh, it is simply deleting unsolicited messages with file attachments because they can download malware into your computers, which may result in data loss. Click answer to continue. Uh, which button should you click to scan files in the selected folder? So you just click on the scan button that is here and click answer to continue. Next question, uh, how can a good posture? So good posture is how you sit. So what you need to do is to make sure that the computer, desk and the seat are positioned correctly. The answer is the last one. So you click on this. And after you click on this answer, click answer uh, to continue. Our next question, which one of the following describes screen magnifier? Just from the word magnify is to enlarge. So the function of the screen magnifier is, uh, this is a software that enlarges the screen content. Option one, click answer uh, to continue. Uh, question uh, 72. Which one of the following practices will save energy? Updating your graphics driver, not leaving the computer in standby mode, uh, deleting unnecessary files and folders, compressing files. The correct answer is not leaving the computer and peripherals in standby mode. Switch off the computer. Click answer. Our next question. Which one of the following is a good environmental uh, practice? It is simply uh, recycling computers and devices that, that are not in use. So click the third answer. And after you click the third answer, you click on answer uh, to submit. You notice that after submitting, we are finished. So you need to click um, end and then click OK to see your score. So you need to scroll downwards. Uh, you can see uh, we have actually scored a hundred percent